In this video, what I'd like to do is to share with you information regarding a very popular and widely used classification of drugs. They're called anticholinergic drugs. Hello, my name is Dr. Robert Bartosz of Proactive Wellness and Injury Center, and I'd like to share with you the information regarding these drugs and the effects that they are having on the users. Now, for many of you, you may not be aware of anticholinergic drugs, but at the same time, many of you may be users of these types of drugs. So I'd like to share with you just a, a brief list of the more popular ones, some of which are Benadryl, Dremamine, Advil PM, Unison, Paxil, and Demerol. Now those are, those are drugs that are used, of course, for helping to rid an individual of allergic responses or reducing pain, sleep aids, uh, allergic responses, and even depression. And as I said earlier, they're very widely used. Now up until this point, we realized that there was an adverse reaction when using these types of drugs. We understand that for every action, there's always, which is an absolute term, an, an equal and opposite reaction. And in this case, we knew that it was causing damage to the brain and to the nerve system. However, we didn't realize the, to what extent. However, now uh, this has been changed. According to research that was published recently in the Journal of American Medical Association publication called Neurology, there was study that was done through the Indiana School of Medicine where they used MRIs and PET scans. They were literally able to take pictures of the brains of individuals who are using these drugs. And what they found was tremendously alarming. In these individuals, it was noted and pictured that there was a reduction, a substantial reduction in the brain's metabolism. That means that there was a, a slowing down of these individuals' brains in, in their abilities for their brains to function. Also, they noticed that the brains were atrophying. That means that the brains of the individuals using these aforementioned drugs are literally shrinking and shrinking. And as they shrink in size, they also, the brain loses its capacities of the, of the atrophied or shrunken areas. And they noticed also when they tested these individuals that their ability to, to maintain memory, regardless of whether it was short term or long-term memories, they lost the ability to do so or were in the process of losing that ability. And to top it off, there in the University of Washington in 2015, they also did some research and they showed that this was not only in these types of drugs that I mentioned before, but they were uh, in the sleep aids and in those drugs that were taken for hay fever. So, you know, you, you've got to ask yourself, well, um, why isn't this publicized or well known? Well, the bottom line is the almighty dollar. But the fact still remains is that these types of, uh, of effects are, are occurring. Now, if that weren't bad enough, there are drugs that are used for COPD that individuals are taking, the Atrovert and the Spiriva. Those two, tri those two drugs in particular also were causing these type effects in the brains of the users over a period of time. And um, as I mentioned earlier for depression, the Paxil, and for an overactive bladder, uh, the Vesicare is a very popular choice. And that too is causing these types of brain changes. So what's happening in these is that over time, these users of these particular drugs are losing uh, their cognitive abilities. That, that means they're losing their ability to speak, to recall memories, to um, process information quickly through their brain, um, losing their uh, awareness of space and time, and also it's um, uh, very alarmingly showing us that there is a tremendous rise in their potential to develop dementia. And you know, I don't believe that it's coincidental as we see a rise in the increase of numbers of individuals now within, uh, with dementia and Alzheimer's in numbers that we've never seen before 
in correlation to the number of individuals now that are uh, drug dependent, if you will, to eliminate depression, to eliminate hay fever symptoms, to uh, help them to sleep at night, or to reduce the amount of discomfort they feel as a result of activities of daily living. So you may ask yourself, well then what's an individual to do? Well, frankly, you are to find out what the cause is of these different maladies. If you're depressed, go to a doctor and don't just get a medicine that, that treats the effects of depression, but find out what is causing, what's at the root cause of that. If you're having an inability to sleep at night, um, find out what the root cause of that, of that uh, situation is. And if your doctor can't do that, well, then please, contact our office. This is what we've been doing for years. We're looking for the cause and not the effect. Because if you continue to take these drugs, then you're definitely going to pay a price. If, um, if you do go to a doctor, uh, I want to remind you too, if you're alarmed by the information that I've shared with you, you do not want to just abruptly discontinue the use of these drugs because it will wreak havoc in your body. Have the conversation with your doctor. Find out if the medication that he or she has prescribed to you is of an anticholinergic nature. And if it is, then you can, you can talk with him or her about ways of discontinuing the use, finding what the cause of the problem is that you're experiencing, the symptoms uh, for which you're being treated, and then take the next step. You can uh, go through a cellular detoxification program where you can clear out and clean out the damage that's resulted as, uh, from the use of taking these drugs. And after you've done that, then you can assess the brain and uh, begin the regenerative or the rebuilding process. Look, your body has been made to be well. It's always in a process of repairing itself and regenerating itself. And if you have this information available to you, you're going to be very, you're going to be in a very powerful position to return yourself to the place where you can enjoy the best performance of your life. If there's further information that you'd like, we invite you to contact our office or leave a comment below this video. Again, we're here to, to help you to assure that you can enjoy the best performance of your life. And until the next video, and as always, God bless.